Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Motorsport Manager. So I just noticed something that I maybe didn't understand fully a couple of videos ago when I went over the rules for our series, the Asia Pacific Super Cup, and that is the fact that only the top six drivers get points. At first, I thought that the top six drivers got bonus points on top of whatever position that they finished in, but no, the top six drivers are the only ones that get points. So everyone else got zero points last race. So even though we finished 12th and 15th, we have no points to show for it. And really our driver standing is more or less meaningless until we get points. Even if we have finished in sixth once, we would get one point and be above everybody else and be like in seventh or what have you. So that's pretty challenging, especially for our team, because that means we have zero points as well for our team. So this is going to be a very challenging series because we have to finish in the top six to get any points at all. Either that or we have to have the fastest lap or get pole position, both things that are extremely difficult to do. So this season is going to be rough. We're losing money. Uh, we, we don't get any points unless we finish in the top six and our competitiveness, as far as our car performance goes to finish in that top six is really not there, but I guess that's going to be the challenge of this season. Um, I, I really think this is going to be a development season for us. I, I really hope we'll be able to stay out of the, uh, the tenth position so we don't get demoted but when when the, it the works the way it does i don't know how easy that's going to be i mean i felt like we finished decently last race for how good our team is but it's, it's meaningless if we don't get any points for it well in any case let's go ahead and uh continue here and uh keep going until we have another halt and we'll take a look at our uh improvements of parts so we're improving reliability here, trying to get the, car, the parts more reliable. Uh, we're going to have a gearbox being built here. Ooh, these are these are getting kind of high. So uh, let's switch over to our brakes for now. The other problem is we're losing money. Uh, I'm spending a lot of money trying to develop our cars to get them to be better, but we're also losing money per race right now with uh, the way our finances are, which I found rather surprising, and I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, you know what? This is probably not the right answer because there are other things that have worse reliability than that. Um, we have that. And I'm not going to improve the reliability of this gearbox because the gearbox we're building will have 50%. And it'll be not too hard to get it above 52. So I'd rather have the better performance gearbox rather than uh, improve reliability of the one we're definitely not going to be using. Uh, we will improve our other suspension as well, I guess. So there we go. Uh, we'll do that. And uh, as far as our, our gearbox goes, in five days we'll have that. So we'll have a little less than five days to get it improved. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so... First of the month pause. Let's continue. I'm going to wait until this design. Uh, we've designed the gearbox. There we go. Okay. Gearbox finished. Let's go to our car now. And we're still finished. Uh, we're still ranked 10th overall in that. And 9th overall as far as our cars go. I'm not going to design another part. Not until we have this next race and see where our finances lie, which honestly, uh, they're not lying in a very good position. Okay, so let us stop improving this and stop improving that because we're like 60% there. We're going to start improving the reliability of this part and cancel some of these other ones. Okay, so well, we're doing okay a lot of parts we're just gonna need to come in clean up what parts a little bit behind looks like the brakes are a little bit behind as far as reliability goes <clears throat> we're going to continue with the reliability improvement because i want to get this uh, gearbox in a position where it can be uh utilized i am going to stop improving this uh, do we continue to improve the gearbox or do we improve the one we already have let's improve the one we already have at this point i think we need to emphasize uh, our, our number one car and maybe de-emphasize the improvement of our secondary car. 
So I am going to do that. I'm going to focus on all of these green parts that we now have. And really, the only thing that we're missing as far as green parts go is the rear wing, which I could afford, but I'm still a little bit concerned with our finances if I do that. Um, it doesn't take that long to build. So it's something we could do kind of last second if I wanted to. Alternatively, I could focus on things that, like uh, the gearbox that we know we're really far behind on, that's going to really hurt us. Uh, because we're not as far behind on the wings as we are some of these other things. It, it's kind of hard for me to make these decisions, though. All right, let's go ahead, though, and uh, continue until we get to the race. I just want to double check we're improving reliability, because that would hurt if we aren't. Okay, uh, we got paused there for a little bit. Uh, let's just continue. So this is your European racing series. No longer concerns us. Okay, we're going to be at Beijing. Now, we've uh, driven Beijing before. We'll have to see how this goes. So where did we end up? 56%, 59%, 60%, 60%. All right, that's not too bad. We're starting to get to some of these parts uh, close to where we want them. Let's start fitting these parts here. So let's start at the top using the best brakes. Uh, let's switch this over so we have a more reliable part. And we have the best gearbox. And we're going to switch this over as well. Now, the difference between these two cars should be going more in her favor. And then, finally, we have the suspension. And we'll be switching over to the more reliable pair. So, <laughs> Mustafa is less happy with the uh, the comparison between the two cars. Um, which is fine, uh, because we want uh, Chico to be the one that's happy with her car performance. Uh, did that really help our, our car performance though? I think it already kind of factors that stuff in. So we jumped back up to eighth. Um, but it is kind of getting rough here. Um, in the future, what I might do is I might switch to 1010 for our, our improvements. So we're improving parts and we're also, uh, improving reliability. I'm just going to do that switch now. Not that it really particularly matters right now. Um, because I don't know how much more we're going to be able to afford uh, to keep building parts. We'll see. Again, after this race, we'll see because we do have the ability to pick up a sponsor here. Uh, here, And I'm hoping that we can jump that up from 200000 a race to maybe 400000 a race or something like that. So that we can uh, start breaking even at the very uh, least. Uh, but for right now, I am very concerned with our, our finances. So let's go ahead and continue here. We're going to take 12th or above because that's the realistic thing to take. Uh, and we need the sponsorship bonus if we're going to break even. Uh, tire selection, I think. Um, I didn't pay too close attention to what we got here. So practice and qualifying is going to be sunny, but race is going to be rainy, which makes this more challenging for us. Um, okay, top speed, acceleration are crucial, and low speed corners is crucial. So this is going to really hurt us. I don't expect we'll do too well here, um, but I am going to go ahead and... Kind of even this out, 6-6, uh, six, because six, I think that's fine. 6 and 6. Okay, let's go ahead and go to, uh, we already did the part fitting, so we should be good in that. Um, so let us uh, go to the race. And I'm really hoping we get a good sponsor next year, I mean for this uh, next race. Uh, so we can stop losing money, but I'm just a little bit concerned because it also requires us to win our sponsor every single time to break even, both in qualifying and race, and there's I don't know if I can guarantee that with the way our cars perform right now, so very tough. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to do our car setup. So I'm going to go with uh, high here. And then handling it needs to go hard. Something like that. Acceleration, we need to go a little bit shorter. And 
tire choice. Uh, we'll use softs for her. And super softs for Mustafa sounds good. Um, we need downforce. Maybe a little bit too extreme. Something like that. Handling, we need to go harder on. And we need to go more towards acceleration. So the same kind of dynamic we saw with Balcazar. We'll go super softs, confirm. And let's take our practice. Okay, so first we'll send out. Um, last time we did two laps uh, qualifying. I'm going to do less this time. Um, higher choice softs, that's fine. Uh, everything is fine to me. We'll send out. Uh, over here, I'm going to send out. And again, I'm going to just do the one qualifying lap. And tire choice softs, all that is good. So uh, let us uh, send out. And away we go. So this has a more traditional pit that uh, it's not going to be like that last race. So maybe we'll perform a little bit better as a result. We'll have to see. All right, handling stiffer here. All right, he doesn't give me an indicator, but he doesn't like the uh, the gearing. <laughs> All right, right arrow set up. Too much arrow, okay. So, stiffer, too much. Looks like we're going to get one level of qualifying, which is fine. That's all I need, in my opinion. I'm more concerned about the race trim. Okay, handling feels good. We didn't get an indicator from Balcazar, but we're not far off with her. All right, so stiffer, less. Stiffer, less. Or is it more? No, it was less, for sure. Stiffer, less. Uh, downforce, that is. Um, so we'll go more towards that direction. Um, I didn't hear here what we needed to do, so I'm not going to do too much. But I'm going to do stiffer suspension because we did get an indicator there. Um, okay, so that's going to be the game plan. Um, send you out on your race trim now and do the four laps. Tire choice will keep you on the same. I didn't get to see uh, what the... I didn't get to see what the tire temps were like, unfortunately. Okay, so everything else on Mustafa's car is good except for uh, gearing, but he didn't give me an indicator of which way to go. So I'm going to make an assumption, and we'll see if it's right. But I'm only going to put it and push it in one direction. So... We push it this way. If it's if it's worse than 79%, which it will give me an indicator of because we have a, a longer practice session, it will let me know, and then I'll know that I went the wrong direction. So that's the easiest way to kind of process elimination it. Uh, and then you need to go on your race trim as well. And out you go. Okay, here we go. And Mustafa's going to be out first. Now it's time to rack up our race trim bonuses. Hopefully we can get it up to level 3. That's what I'd like to see. Because that'd be a pretty significant bonus in my opinion. Way too short. Okay, so I did go in the right direction. Okay, way better. We'll see if uh, she's still happy with it though. Okay, arrow is good. We already knew that. <laughs> I 
or responsive handling. Okay, but we did go stiffer, as stiff as we could go. So that's as good as it gets with her car. Unfortunately. Handling is spot on, guys. Okay. We're getting up to uh, level two with our race trim. I right, still think there's too much down for us, so we'll back that off. We only have a little bit of time left. Looks like we're still going through our laps. I'm hoping we're pitting soon. Otherwise, I may pit and we stop a ahead of time. Okay, so finally she gives me an indicator there what to do. Okay, he'll be coming into the pits. We won't have much time with that, though. This is a track that, if I remember correctly, takes a long time to get around, so we might not have much time at all. Under a minute. But we'll get to make some changes. Okay, we are at uh, level 2, not quite level 3. Alright, um, so send out... So he let me know that he needs... Uh, Longer gearing, which we see that benefit right there. So we're just going to keep going with that. And I might even go another step with it. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, but we'll try. And we want to get that handling back on. So there we go. Uh, he's good to go. And then as far as tire choice, we'll put him out on softs and get him out there. 14 seconds. Not going to have a lot of time out on the track, but it's something. Uh, send you out. And then Balcazar is coming in. Okay, so... She let me know which way to take uh, the... The gearing. The only problem is I think that goes counter to the other changes she was telling me to make. Alright, so we need less downforce. Less downforce. Uh, that kind of goes in the direction we needed to go, though. So that's good. So there we're good. Um, and then we need longer gear ratios, according to that. Oh, you know what? That is pushing it in the right direction. So we'll do a little bit more extreme uh, changes here, but this is the changes we're going to make. It does push the handling a little bit in the direction we need to go in anyway, uh, which is good because stiffer would be in that direction. And uh, as far as tire choice, you can stay out on the same tires. Again, I didn't pay too much attention to uh, the tire temps, but they look like they were being more or less neutral, so. We're going to have very little time on these. I'm not going to quite get level 3, although close. All right, so hopefully we'll see above that 66% that we saw with Balcazar's car. All right, let's... Uh... Oop, trying to scroll down here. So we finished 18th, 19th. I'm really starting to feel uh, that this season might not go our way. And it is very possible I think we might get demoted here. But we're going to try not to be. All right, let's go ahead and continue here. Okay, we're on to qualifying, uh, which I will simulate uh, as I, you know, I don't really like the mechanic of it. And I think we have a lot better chance of getting our sponsorship if I, if I do so. So um, we're going to do qualifying trim and super soft tires because uh, that is what we have bonuses for. And that's what we'll be using anyway. Again, qualifying trim, super soft tires, confirm, and car setup. Aw. Okay. Well, I just learned something. I could have swore she said stiffer, but it seems that that is the wrong direction to go in. So we're going to try and change that. So I'm going to go uh, the other direction here. Because we were poor, and that became very poor by pushing it harder in that direction. So um, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get the speed balance back to where it was. 
um, by, but also shift this. And we'll also get an idea if this helps us. I mean, 76% is definitely better. Um, but if the handling gets better, if we, uh, we go from very poor to something better, then we know we've gone in the right direction. And if this goes higher, then we know we've done that right too. It's quite possible I uh, got confused when uh, she was telling me things and maybe I got the, the two drivers uh, mixed up on who was supposed to have what set up. Uh, but in any case, let's go ahead and uh, confirm. This is kind of the good thing about qualifying is it gives you another chance to set up your cars right. And we should be good there. So we're going to go ahead and simulate uh, the qualifying. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm hoping it goes uh, decently. I'm hoping we finish at least 12th or above. But there's no guarantee, obviously. Um, and we didn't. So we didn't get our sponsorship bonus. So we're going to be even more negative in cash now. Um, so we're 15th and 19th overall as far as our pole position. It could be because we didn't get the Balcazar's car uh, as on as we did in the past. But uh, let's go ahead and continue here. So this is going to be rough. Um, it's saying sunny on the race day, although uh, we had projected rain. So that might be something that comes in later. We'll go ahead and take a look at the forecast. Uh, still shows sunny here. All right, so let's go through our slots first. So race trim and risk taker for sure. Confirm. And then over here, um, you know, I didn't pay attention to this. This might have been something that I could have done for qualifying. All right, well, that was my bad because uh, this is a, a bonus for qualifying. So next time I'll try and remember that. Um, here, I'm going to go race trim super softs. It's the thing that we have the best bonus with, and I'm going to try and go for it here. Um, so we'll confirm that. Having both our cars run super softs is kind of risky because of the... Uh... Yeah, so that definitely was the right move. So what I'm going to do is just continue to go with it, but I'm not going to do it a lot because I'm a little bit concerned if I do it too much. It might uh, might uh, go too far. So I'll just do a little bit there. Uh, that should help her. Um, I am going to go super softs, though. I'm going to fuel up as much as I can, though. Uh, the less we have to fuel later, I think the better. Although, again, it might slow us down initially because we have all that fuel on board. I'm not sure if that's uh, simulated or not. I would assume that it is, but you, you never really know. And we'll fuel up here. Confirm. And then, again, I didn't really notice uh, a particular trend with this track. The one thing that I'm a little bit concerned about, and the reason why I don't want to use super softs, is because of how long it takes to get around this track. Um, that concerns me a little bit. Let's see what the rest of the grid is doing. So, it looks like a lot of super softs here. Some softs, but a lot of, a lot of super softs. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just, I'm a little bit concerned uh, that it, 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 we're going to run through these tires pretty quickly. But it's what we're going to try. In any case, I think we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.